like to have lunch with me? Um, no thanks. <laughs> My Marin friends are going to be here any minute. Well, where, where's Marin? Oh, it's like heaven. <laughs> it's across the Golden Gate Bridge. It's near the ocean. And most of us are blonde because the beautiful sun shines down on us and makes our hair that way. <laughs> anyway, to stop talking to you now, I wouldn't want to be accused of cheating. Cheating? With me? All Marin girls are really loyal. I've known my five best friends since birth. And all of our mothers were best friends too. They all decided to have babies together. And get Range Rovers. <laughs> well, what about a new friend? No thanks. Why don't you go hang out with the Parachute Kids? What's that? Parachute Kids. Rich Asian parents stay in Asia while they parachute their kids to America in order for them to have a better education. These kids live in big houses without their parents, drive expensive cars, and have a lot of swagger. They're basically rich Asian gangsters. Their leader is Irene Yip. Tell her Bristol Spalding of Spalding basketball. Yeah. Referred you. <laughs> oh, and you do know how to speak a chinkabonics, right? What's chinkabonics? Chinese eubonics, duh. <laughs> Asian American gangsters are cool, and any element of cool in, a, in America has a bit of black in it. <laughs> That's her. Hi, Irene. Wow, your car is so beautiful. It, it, it's a Mercedes, right? <laughs> yeah, all Asians draw benzos in the blood. <laughs> from Papyrus. I wore black all the time. Just when I was starting to feel like the fucking shit. Where on earth did you get this 32A underwire bra? <laughs> did you steal it? Why would you assume that I stole it? Because you're the kind of stupid girl who would do such stupid things. If you didn't steal it, it must be a boy, huh? You barely have a 3.83 GPA and you have time to see a boy? You better tell me the truth, huh? Or get me the cane. Better tell me the truth! No, Mom, it's not a boy. And yes, it's stolen! Get over it! <laughs> My mother hit me with the closest thing she could reach. The fax machine. <laughs> <laughs> and I passed out. When I came to, she forbid me from hanging around Irene Yip ever again. Stealing is not in your character. How about we play a spelling game together? <laughs> knock, knock. Knock, knock. I 
think I've outgrown you. Two years later, my brother was in college, my sister was a senior in high school, and we were in the middle of our usual Sunday family dinner. I told you, Father, I'd like to go to Johns Hopkins or Stanford University. And who will be paying for that, Rosalind? <laughs> no, 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 no. Berkeley. <laughs> it's cheap, good, and it's a great pre-med program. Ask Nigel. I'm not sure I want to be a doctor, Father. Well, I'm sure that you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm great at languages. Maybe I could be a translator in the UN. Or do something in the arts. The only people who choose the arts are the ones who fail in the sciences. <laughs> I won't allow it. Is everyone enjoying the Hyannis chicken rice? Aw, oh, Mom, this is delicious. I'm gonna miss your home cooking when I'm in Cambridge next year. Why do you have to go all the way to Cambridge, England to do your master's PhD? You've gone to many schools here. I, I, I'm going to miss you. Because, Sophia, Cambridge is legendary. If you get into Cambridge, you go to Cambridge. Oh, it's all right, Mama. That's what planes are for. In the meantime, how about seconds on that chicken, huh? Jack, you don't like the food? The chicken is dry. My mother lifted her soup bowl to her mouth, but she didn't drink. And when I looked a little closer, she caught a teardrop that disappeared into the steam. Another two years went by. My brother was now in his second year in Cambridge, England, doing his master's PhD in molecular genetics with an emphasis in mutated obesity genes. My sister was in her second year, pre-med, UC Berkeley. I was the only kid left at home. I was staring out at the backyard one cold, foggy, typical San Francisco day. And I was holding my acceptance letter to UC Berkeley. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? It's your Auntie Fiona, your neighbor from down the street. <laughs> You're recognizing me? My Auntie Fiona, no relation. In Chinese culture, we're taught to call our aunts and uncles, our elders, uh, you know, everyone older than us, Auntie and Uncle, out of respect. Auntie Fiona, my, my parents are, are at home right now. I know. I was looking for you. Wah ha ha ha. You've grown up tall for an Asian girl. And no more glasses and braces. Good for you. I am an active part of the San Francisco Chinatown community. And I would like to invite you to audition for the Miss Teen Chinese USA pageant. Is this a joke? Do you see me laughing? <laughs> well, not exactly the pageant type. Don't you do have to be pretty and annoying? <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover. Besides, it takes courage to try new things. Well, I barely hit puberty. All Chinese girls have little boobies. <laughs> but we are very proportionate. Besides, it's not a regular pageant. We have a GPA prerequisite, talent portion, and no swimsuit. And if you win, you get a scholarship to the college of your choice and also very fancy jade earrings. <laughs> Did you say a scholarship <coughs> to the college of my choice? Yes, and I also said very fancy jade earrings. <laughs> <laughs> well, my parents want us all to go to UC Berkeley. They say it's cheap and good, but my real dream has been to go to a college in Los Angeles. Cheap and good is the Chinese way. <laughs> but LA has good schools too. Besides, if you win the money, what can they say? Do not tell them that I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> the pageant is May 26th. May 26th? That's senior prom. Oh. 
Well, who is your lucky day? <laughs> no one. Oh, good. The Chinese winds are working in our favor. Auditions are this Saturday, high noon. Chinatown. game today. Joe Montana is the man indeed. Go 49s. <laughs> Jack, you like the oxtail curry? I do. Mom, Dad, I, I, I have something to say. It's always been my dream to go to a college in Los Angeles, and I've been accepted. And I know it's not cheap, but I have a solution. You see, I've decided to audition for the Miss Teen Chinese USA pageant where I could win a scholarship. Is it okay if I go? Me, 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 miss what? Miss what, 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 dream? <laughs> you are going to Berkeley. But I wanted to do communication studies, and Los Angeles would be a great place. What on earth do you have to communicate? <laughs> Pre-med or pre-law at Berkeley. I'm just, I'm not good in those areas, Dad. I'd be miserable for the rest of my life. <laughs> Don't be so histrionic like your mother. You might want to have your thyroid checked. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my thyroid, Dad. What's wrong is that I'm miserable and I need to do what makes me happy. I'm asking you very nicely to stop. Stop what? Telling you the truth? What's wrong with telling you what I want? I need a certain contract resurface. Fuck you, Dad. <coughs> Would you like to slap this side too? This is the kind of daughter you've raised, Sophia. Again, she's made me lose my appetite. I'm going back to work. When I was your age, I only had one pair of shoes, you know. You have shoes lined up to Timbuktu. I shared a room with six of my brothers. All my own clothes I had to sew, even my own panties I have to sew. You look seriously in your own room like a queen. When I went to dental nursing school, every single cent of my paycheck I gave to my parents. All you kids know how to do is ask for money so you can buy your, your, your pizza and burritos. <laughs> <laughs> For the last 20 years, I wait up every night to midnight to warm up your father's goddamn food. And still he's embarrassed by me. Huh. Just because I didn't go to college. Now Berkeley wants you and yet you complain, huh? Your father and I work our guts out so you get everything. Still not enough for you. <sighs> you become a selfish American girl. You think being Americanized is so great, huh? Freedom is the white man's lie. You want to know what freedom really means? Huh. It means talking back to your parents, sleeping around and divorce. Now you want to go to Los Angeles to, to have your freedom, huh? Parade yourself on stage like a prostitute? I'd rather kill you and let that happen. I'd rather skin you alive with a butcher knife and then call 999. <laughs> 